Hello everybody, today we'll be taking a look at Gamma App, which is a AI-driven PowerPoint presentation builder. And uh, I've known about this tool for some time now, but I haven't really, really used it. Um, I think one time when I was, um, so at our, with my team, we usually try to have once a month learn-a-thon, and I think one of those sessions I took over just to share some AI tools uh, with the, my team at my day job. And um, this is one of those tools that I did showcase. So I'm gonna actually um, showcase this to you guys. Um, this might be useful. It might be something that can spizzazz your uh, PowerPoint presentations. So just to get started, let's let's look at the, um, the, the, the pricing here. So the pricing is pretty generous for the free plan. So the moment you sign up, you get 400 AI credits. Um, so I don't I don't believe that I don't believe that resets every single month. Um, you can generate up to 10 cards. Now, what are 10 cards? I don't I don't know what a card is. We'll find out. Uh, you have basic image models, and they tell you currently. You have stable diffusion, playground 2.5, image um, imagine and ideogram turbo. And then once you upgrade, um, you still have basic image uh, models. Uh, but once you upgrade it to Pro, you have uh, Imagine Pro, Ideogram, and DALI 3. And uh, in the free plan, you have unlimited gammas and users, and gamma is basically a PowerPoint presentation. And you also have a PDF export, which is gamma branded, and PowerPoint export, it's a gamma, gamma branded as well. Uh, on the mid-tier plan, you also have everything in the free plan, uh, plus fri priority support and everything in free. Um, you can generate up to 15 cards and unlimited AI usage. And uh, I think really it's either for me, the free plan, or it's the pro plan where you get longer AI inputs. You also remove the made with gamma badge. Uh, you can also publish a custom domain if you have an agency, you have detailed analytics, everything in plus, and you also have premium, uh, premium image models. So what we're gonna do now is, um, I haven't really scripted this video, so I'm gonna try to just think of something off the top of my mind. So let's create a new uh, presentation. So there's a couple things you can create with, with AI. So um, you can paste in text, create from notes and outline or existing content, generate, create from one line prompt in a few seconds, import file or URL, enhance existing docs, presentations, or web pages. So I'm gonna just do generate here, and you can generate a website, a document, or a presentation. So maybe we'll do all three. And uh, I will, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna use too many cards, so maybe we'll do like four cards, right? And uh, I want to do is, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my uh, trusty um, assistant, ChatGPT, and I'm gonna ask it to, Give me a uh, break down into a prompt the process of writing good content for users and not search engines. And uh, I'll get a response back. Um, objective. Uh, so again, this saves a lot of time. <laughs> Understand your audience, choose relevant topics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is basically breaking it down for it. But I know Gamma can actually take a very simple prompt and do this itself. But well, we'll just go with this. Um, I was hoping it to just be one prompt. Maybe we'll do like a. Uh, hold on. Let's copy all this, and uh, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it here. And I'm gonna generate, see it actually cut it off right there. So you can see it cut it off right there. So I don't have access to longer prompts. Uh, so I did mention four cards, which is basically four slides. Understanding audience, create valuable user-centered content, optimize for search and discover discoverability measure and iterative, measuring and iterating for continuous improvement and uh, amount of text per card. We'll do medium, AI images, um, what image model, let's do idiom, ideogram turbo, uh, turbo. And let's continue, this is gonna cost 40 credits. Uh, so I guess 10 credits per slide or per um, per card. And uh, let's look at a template style. Uh, which one do I like? I like, I like this one, let's do daydream. And uh, this is more, this has that sort of um, uh, Facebook, uh, the, the, their, the meta AI, the meta AI, um, llama. Yeah, it looks like that llama sort of uh, color scheme. So let's do generate. And um, it's gonna be generating the slides. 
and it builds the slides in. So for example, writing high quality user centric content. This presentation provides a framework for writing high quality user centric content. This framework incorporates SEO best practices and aims to prioritize user needs. Understanding your audience, identify personas, research needs, determine preferences, analyze behavior. Uh, and then you have another slide creating valuable user centric content. And then optimizing for search and discoverability, keyword research, on-page optimization, off-page optimization. So I think that's pretty good. Let's do uh, create something else. Let's go to generate. And now what I want to do is create a document. And I'm going to do just copy the same prompt here. And uh, I'm actually just going to not use that prompt and be like, can you create a document that outlines the necessary steps to creating great content that users will love. Okay. Let's generate that introduction, understand audience, define content goals, conduct key research, craft engaging and informative content, optimizing for search and discoverability, promoting and distributing your content, measuring and iterating on your, con uh, on your content. So I'm just going to copy this prompt in case I lose it. And uh, again, let's do ideogram turbo, turbo, and I'm gonna continue. And now what it's doing is it's creating a document. Um, and let me just choose a template. Let me just do this one here, generate. And I haven't done a document before, so I will be, I'm curious as to how this is different from the, from the, the presentation. Um, okay, so you have a document that breaks things down, it has, line breaks and spaces. Um, okay. I'm not saying everyone needs a tool like this. I'm just saying, hey, I created this tool to just test different AI marketing tools for people to just see and maybe this is useful for you, maybe not. More than likely for me, I'm sticking to Google Docs and Google Slides. Simple and easy for me, but I mean, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt to always try something new. So. Uh, you can also edit this, you can edit with AI, and you can turn this into a timeline. Let's do this, turn this into a timeline. Okay, and I'll start rearranging this into, okay, let's go suggested and then click on that. Original, suggested, okay. I don't know what it did there. Um, you can also present it, and you can present it like this, and I just click on the, so you can present it basically, you can present a document like this. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm presenting it. Um, you can also do, a pre you can present the actual um, PowerPoint presentation as well. Uh, let's do one more generation here, and we'll probably call it a day, but let's do a website. Uh, again, the prompt has, probably has nothing to do with a website, but let's see what it does. So I've just spent 120 um, credits there, and I only have 380. I don't have a lot, so I should probably be careful with my credits. But I also probably will not be paying for the monthly plan because I just don't really see a need to, um, to use it as much. Um, I only like to pay for things that I actually use like every single day. If I'm not, like Canva is something I use every single day, so I pay for Canva. But if it's something I'm not gonna use every day, then yeah, probably not. So the, it built a web page and they broke it down and it's the same information in a web page format. Now, I don't think I did, I did a great prompt to actually show you guys how powerful this can be. So let's take a look at some examples. Um, so these are examples that can be read, uh, readily found if you go back to home and if you look for inspiration, you can find a lot of these. And I just found, you know, just clicked on a couple of these. Um, so you can present these as well. And then, so you're presenting these. So this could look nice. I mean, like for presentation, sometimes, yeah, like Excel, uh, sorry, a PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint or Microsoft Slides, it just doesn't look great. Maybe this is a good way. I mean, it is kind of expensive for what it does. Maybe not, but still, like, I think this would, this could be a good way to just, just, I don't know, present something in a nicer way. Um, yeah, so we got this. And uh, let's look at the next one. You got Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. I'm gonna present that as well. And then you got his family as he in college, NBA career, case for the go. Okay, that's the end of that. And then you have Disney designing magic. Okay, 
And uh, let's go back here and see what else we can find. We have templates as well. So you can, pre let's preview the template. And uh, it's just basically a template that you can use to share. Say for example, you wanna communicate something using six hats brainstorming. Um, let's see what other templates they have. Uh, one page site executive coach sample. So preview, let's see. Um, some of these templates might be useful, honestly. Um, you might just have to change the color. So if you go to preview and change the actual style and it changes the style for you pretty quickly. Um, so that's neat. And then you can go to themes. Um, I think you can create your own theme. You have custom fonts. I only have 250 credits. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. You also have sites as well, which we just built. Um, and I believe you can actually publish these, publish this. Um, so for example, uh, publish this page. And uh, I believe I can share this with other people as well as a site. So if I click on visit site, now I can see this online that I can share with anyone. So you can even basically turn a presentation into a site that which then you can share with other people as well. So that's a quick, quick, quick overview of Gamma app. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys to check out. And uh, maybe it might be useful to spazzaz your presentations. Um, so until next time, see you, guys, see you guys later and take care.